it's Shane McCray again. Uh, quick update, I have now implemented uh, basic AI behavior for attacking the towers and the walls. Um, I've got a few free uh, models downloaded uh, from Polygon Blacksmith on the Unity Asset Store. And I'm using Mechanim for the animations. So without further ado, let's see how I did this. Um, I needed to set up my playground again, um, setting up a, a cube and assigning it a temporary uh, material. And after I got my position ready, I, I created a little wall um, that was going to be the target for the enemies to follow, or to walk towards to destroy. Uh, and then I, I started creating a uh, mock enemy, just a single capsule with a red material, and applied some basic functionality, which I'll just blow through the code real quick. So this is actually where I spent most of my time is creating logic for both the uh, sp spawn and the monster um, today. And I'm trying to create a nice coding standard of variable names and uh, following Pascal case standard for how the variables are formatted, the method names. See, I struggled with the enemies spawning in the middle of the ground and in the middle of the playground instead of where the spawn points were. It was a lot of troubleshooting. But they were behaving correctly then, at this point. And I wanted to test out the, the wave functionality, spawning more than one. Um, you can see the lines. And I wanted to try duplicate spawn points, see what they look like. my video just repeated itself. This is kind of like an after action report. Um, so I'm kind of watching it along with you. See how they're going towards one single point right in the middle of the wall. Um, it was in at this point I determined that I needed to do um, lanes, and so I, I'm going to have a determined amount of lanes, and each lane will have a target, and each lane will have its uh, tower spawn points for you. And uh, I think it'll add some complexity and some uh, strategizing. 
um, ranged towers will have a certain number of lanes that the attack can cross, whereas melees can only stay within their own lane or one next to. Um, again, I downloaded the skeleton free model from Polygon Blacksmith. Uh, link will be included in the description of the video. Uh, I set them up using a character controller, a character motor, and then the monster controller script I had created. Um, using Mechanum, Mechanum, however you say that, um, I was able to easily wire up the, the animations pretty smoothly um, and easily. I just took a, a little bit of headache to get used to. Um, I'm still learning it. I'm a programmer by heart, so I'd always prefer uh, scripting. And for the longest time, I've used the legacy animations. But I'm trying to modernize and get used to uh, node-based scripting or using the um, animator. To this, I hope you guys notice that I have gotten rid of the click from the music, the background. Uh, that first video it just about killed me. And there we go. That was my progress for today. Thanks for watching.